Hello everyone, this is Candy, the 614 Stitcher, and today is Monday, February the 15th, 2021. I am returning with an update. Um, this is my fifth video. If you are new, thank you so very much for stopping by and checking out my video to see if I am working on something that may interest you. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so very much. I really appreciate all of the comments and um, the outpouring of support that you still give me week to week. Um, today um, will, will not be a very long video. I don't have very much to show, but I have been stitching quite a bit. And so I wanted to give you all an update on how it was going. So we're going to jump right into the whips. I have four whips that I've been working on so far um, this week since the last video. Um, and it's been very therapeutic um, for those of you who commented about the struggles that I'm having um, during this still COVID time. I appreciate all of your support. I um, am continually working through all of that. It's um, it, it just goes and comes and goes and comes. And um, every now and then um, I have really good days. I'm making some changes um, personally to keep my spirits lifted. Um, but I thank you all for the support that you've also um, given me with your stories of also struggling. So thank you so very much. Um, the first whip I'm going to show today is the February Flower of the Month from Just Cross Stitch Magazine um, 2020. And here is a picture of what it would look like. I'm also working on the January one. I'm going to get this together. Yes. So here's the February. Or no, that's the January. And then here's the February. And so here, I actually have been working on both of them um, since I did not get the January completed also. So the last time you all saw it, I had um, the vine in part of the urn, sorry, part of the urn. And so I have gotten a lot of this done. I um, worked on this Friday night um, and I had gotten in both of these both of these stems and this middle piece. Saturday morning, I got up and realized that I had made an error and had to take it all back out again. But then once I put it back in, I was able to put the flower bud, okay, put the flower buds in and get the rest of the, put the vines um, back in along with that center heart motif. So it's really coming along wet, um, really well. I really like this. Um, I was using this um, as my 30 minute a day. Um, I'm going to switch that out though. I'm still going to be working on it because I want to make the goal to be where I can get this completed um, within this month. And I'm also going to be working on the January. So this is the January one. I'm trying to make sure I can get this. I'm using my computer today instead of my laptop. I mean, I'm using my laptop instead of my um, tablet. Hoping that the uploading process will be easier. So I have put in all of the leaves. And this pattern, um, as you can see, that might be too bright. Let's, 
us a little better. So as you can see, this flower has all this white and the snowflakes and all of that. And so that's going to be the very last thing that I stitch on the white. I want to make sure I get everything completed before I um, do that. And then once I do it, I'm going to sit down and do it all in one fell swoop so that I don't have to worry about the stitches getting dirty or, you know, other floss getting on top of it and getting them dirty. So that's where I stand with the flowers of the month. And then for um, March, I'll be starting that March um, flower and I will show it next week when I pull that magazine out and get my um, March plans in order. Again, that is being stitched on 16 count hedgehog by um, Fortnite Fabrics, and I am using my own conversion on that. My second project that I've been working on this week is my Martin Luther King sampler. Maybe if I hold it back here. Yeah, that's good. This is my Martin Luther King sampler by Stone Street Stitch Works. Um, and I am really enjoying it. It is such a great, easy stitch. Um, I was able to bring the border uh, when I finished. When I stopped the last time, I had stopped like right here. So I brought the border all the way over and down. And this is, is as big as it's going to this is as big as it's going to be. So I just need to continue bringing that down. I also put in the A. Um, so I'm going to start the second line across. Which is um, always right to. So those words will get in. I will be... Um, the goal for this project is to have it completed by April the 4th, which was the day he was assassinated. I started it, this on um, January the 15th, his birthday, and I have a goal to finish this on the day, if not before. I actually planned on finishing it um, on April the 3rd. Um, and he was assassinated on April the 4th. So this is my Martin Luther King sampler. And I am using the called for DMC. And that is um, 0822 and 3782, all by DMC. And the fabric is... Witchelt um, Natural Brown Ada, and it's a 14 count. I, it is so, like, the this border that she designed is just so easy to stitch up. Like, it just flows and flows and flows. And so the two side borders match one another, and then the top and the bottom border will match one another um, and it it is just it's easy so easy to stitch i i really enjoy this um this stitch it is really it's um when i just need to work on something and keep my hands busy it's really been a good one so the next project and Sorry about leaving it in a cue snap. I've really been working on it, um, and it actually has become, this past week, it was my 30-minute um, every morning project, and this is Stronger Together, Stronger Together by um, Fat Quarter Shop. And when I last showed this, I was just starting on the um, stars, well, I have all but 
one of the star I know I'll get this together do everything backwards um, I have all but one of the stars completed and I have all of the green inside completed and I can now start on the pink um, if you are still interested they do still have this is actually a PDF download um, on the fat quarter shop so I am about to start here with bringing all of this down I um, do still have this multi it, the bottom and um, on the sides the blue is just um, I've outlined the first of the two that I've put in and I need to put in two more and I um, will put in the stitches where they go and then it'll just be me filling it in because the blue is all fill in and then the white is actually um, single stitch not single stitches but stitches in rows so it's also pretty easy to get done so I have moved to the middle so that once I move the Q-snap I will be able to do the um, right hand side and complete the bottom and the left with the triangle motifs so and this is a really um, easy stitch also you know this uh, this past week I'm like I must have chose really easy um, stitching projects for um, my goals this week and so I um, have been very pleased um, I actually moved um, one day I started uh, where I was working on one and then I finished that 30 minutes and then I moved to the next one and finished that 30 minutes and so it was it, it you know it was moving along pretty quickly I think that was on Saturday that I just kept picking up one after the other after the other um, sorry about all the crinkling but I want to make sure to keep everything in order so that I'm not looking around trying to figure where stuff is so the next project that I worked on was made to create um, and I don't have um, it's a mystery style so I don't have any um, the pattern for it but here is where I've gotten to and I will be making this my um, 30 minute every morning project um, because the next section comes out on the 25th and I want to make sure that um, I'm up to date on it when it gets done so I've put in the orange paint I'm not really sure what this opposite candy I'm not sure what this green is but i Put that in um, and I still have a few more stitches on that and then I need to put in the camera and there is a um, jigsaw puzzle piece that I need to put in above it that goes over this way and then the camera is over here and then there is also um, some thread that I need to put in um, I know you see this little red dot I I uh, had to mark my place just to make sure that I was starting in the middle um, because the last thing I wanted to do was to be off from the very beginning and so I just wanted to make sure that that's where that was and so that is um, where I am oh I put in the white stitches down here also and I put them in and I put them in over here also uh, at the yellow also so all of that got filled in also so it's coming along and um, really nicely I will be making this uh, 
more of a focus piece because I, like I said, I don't want to be behind when she releases the next part, which technically it releases on the 25th, but because they are ahead of us, we really get it on the 24th. Um, usually when I get up on the 25th, it's already in my um, inbox because I go to bed, so I don't release them. Um, so that's where I am and what I have stitched on this week. I actually did stitch a little bit on um, Loads of Love. Um, and this is going faster than what I thought, so I can show it to you. So I don't have, um, this was a PDF pattern also off of um, Little Stitch Girls Etsy shop. So I don't have the pattern to show you for that either. But last week when I did show it, I just had in the little heart. And now, as you can see, I can't see, but you hopefully can. Um, I started on the... I started on the, uh, I put the love in, and then this is the beginning of the wagon. Um, and even though Valentine's Day was yesterday, I'm going to continue to work on um, these patterns. Um, I have another one I'm going to show in a minute. Um, because they're easy morning stitches also. If, once I get caught up on the made to create, then I'll go back to... Um, these easier ones um, because you know 30 minutes a day um, a couple of days in a row you can get a lot of stitches in um, if they're you know just back and forth back and forth back and forth so I will continue to keep that up um, the other project that I did work on just a little bit was my um, February Heart in Hand, which is right here. And I, um, I had to make sure I was holding it up correctly. I was able to get the hearts, this heart in, um, I still have like two stitches. I just barely made it playing the thread chicken um, and then I put in the smaller heart and this other I think I actually probably put in a whole lot more since you last saw it but this is where it's coming along I'm trying to make a decision on the work um, the February down here at the bottom because I changed the border to um, cherry tomato um, I'm also going to use cherry tomato I, I'm guessing right now um, for the word February because the I'm, I'm just not crazy about that brown border all the way around it and then the brown words in with the pink um, so that's where I am with that one um, I did end up working on my Whipco project um, which is, um, alas, and my savior did bleed. And I had to take it all out. The thread, literally, as I was pulling it through, the thread started just shredding. Um, I think I know what the problem is. I need to use a bigger needle because of, um, the, uh, frame that I was using. Um, it pulled... I mean, I, I'm going to show you in haul. It pulled the um, fabric so tight that using a small needle just, I mean, it was just shredding. I couldn't believe it. That was the first time it had ever happened to me. So I was like, okay. And um, so I took out the, you know, 10 stitches or so that I had in there. And I um, decided that I would just start over again this week with it um that is on my whipco board and and it was called already twice it's on my board as number four and number 20 and that what was that were those are the numbers that were called this month and so 
woohoo, um, I have 20 hours to go on it. Um, and so I'll just keep working along. It would be very nice. Um, that project um, will have a birthday on April the 12th. I started it on Easter Sunday last year. Um, so it would be great if I could get that project completed before it has a birthday. Um, and so that'll be um, a goal coming up also. So um, for plans this week, I will be working on, I know you didn't see her, um, I'll be working on Harriet Tubman. Um, I need to do at least three hours on her um, to get her moving um, because I don't want it to just linger. Um, I started it on February the 1st and I need to be really diligent in working on it, on her. Um, and then I need to get the, um, sorry, um, I need to get the first part of the May cre to create completed by the 25th. Um, and so I actually think though, even though I have, um, a couple of motifs still to go, I'm in a good spot with it. Um, I just need to make sure that I stay on top of it um, and keep it in the forefront of my basket when I'm putting projects in and taking projects out. That way I can keep it in my eyesight and know like, okay, you need to make sure you're working on this. Um, I am going to be using the heart and hand. I know I said I would be probably using Martin Luther King sampler, but I'm going to be using the heart and hand for my 30 minutes every morning um, stitch. And then that way I can get it completed. Um, and by the end of the month would be great um, and be finished with that. Um, and then the other thing, I have a goal um, in the magazine monthly challenge group that I need to stitch on um, a stitch for Sweet Freedom for three hours. Um, and so I'll need to get that completed before the end of the month. So um, that'll be another um, piece that I'll be working on this week coming up into the weekend. So now we can move to haul. Um, I am in a Facebook group and, well, Lynn X Stitches, my friend. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. Um, I invited me to this Facebook group and I was like, okay. And as it turned out, she designs t-shirts. Her name is Athena. And the Facebook group is stitching goddess designs and i'm sure a lot of you have heard of her um also there's there's pe a lot of people in the uh but that is what the uh, that is what her name is and um, when i got on the website the first shirt that i saw was um I got so much procrastinating done today. And then it says that I sure did stitch a lot. So, and it's it's a nice, it's a nice thick t-shirt. Um, the design is, you know, no peeling, no anything. So, um, I was so excited when I got onto the website, um, that she was making like you know she's making t-shirts i was like oh my goodness so i'm gonna take these off so i messaged her and was like do you do custom t-shirts and she was like yes and so she made me a t-shirt with my name on it um she got with my friend lynn and uh, Lynn told her that I, I really love butterflies. And so she put a butterfly on it. And I know the color is really washed out, but it is so nice. 
So thank you so very much, Athena. I really, really appreciate it. I uh, was like, I'm going to make sure that I wear it on my very next floss tube. So I hope um, you enjoy it. The fit was great. Um, I, uh, I'm glad I got the size that I did. Um, but it was really not really great. She, um, instant messaged me with the design, with all of it. Um, it was very smooth. Like there wasn't any problems. It, when she, I got a tracking number, it came on time, the whole thing. So if you are looking for, um, to have a custom shirt, t-shirt made, um, please be sure to give, um, Athena the stitching goddess design on Facebook, a look, um, very, very reasonably priced. It, it was a great experience and I'm already like thinking up the next t-shirt that I want to have made. Um, because there's nothing like having your own personal t-shirt that no one else has. So it was really great and I really appreciate it. Thank you, Athena, again. So I watched um, Just Keep Stitching a couple of weeks ago and Steph was um, talking about, um, I don't know why I took these glasses off. So let me explain. I have a rare, maybe not as rare as what I think, eye condition where my cornea bubbles out. And so I have to wear hard contact lenses so that I can see. And sometimes I'm okay and can just wear my regular glasses. Sometimes I have to wear the contact lenses and I probably should wear the contact lenses all the time. However, I can't see this close to me. Like this is blurry. So I always have to have these um, readers on when I'm doing it. And when I purchased the little chain, I thought my daughter was going to lose it. Because she was like, Mom, are you really going to wear that chain? Because I have already sat them down like, where, where are those glasses? I got to read something. Where's those glasses? So I, I now have graduated up to the little, little lady chain with the reader glasses. Um, but that's the only way that I can read anything um, that is right here in front of me. So that's why they go on and go off and go on and go off. So, um, the name of, so back to Steph, she was talking about using a Q-snap and you all, uh, I talked about it last week, the problem that I'm having with my wrist and hand. And so I, um, after I had watched her video a few weeks ago and knew that she was using this. And so I got on Amazon and I ordered these hoops and um, was like, okay, I'm going to try this and see. And so they're called Kato and I got the four piece set. So uh, you order them on Amazon and, and I don't know if you can see that, but that is what I'm going to really work on the whole lighting and everything for this next video, but that's what the, um, label looks like. And I got a four piece set and they, they are really good. When I say they pull your stuff, well, they pull the cloth uber tight. Um, I was using, this is what I was using when I, um, was stitching on Alas and my Savior did bleed. And because I did, I was using a thinner needle. I know that's why that thread was shredding. So my only issue with these are, is 
because of the dexterity issue that I have in my hand, putting them on the fabric is a little difficult. Other than that, they are great. They are very lightweight, so I literally can hold it just like this and stitch. I do, um, I do know how to stitch uh, doing the sewing method. I have not figured out how to do the sewing method yet in a hoop or a Q-snap. Um, and the I'm not going to stitch in hand um, just so that I can do the sewing method. Um, I learned how to cross stitch doing the poke and stab or whatever they call it. Um, and so it doesn't bother me. Um, yes, the sewing method is very much faster. Um, but... I need to be able to use my hands. So, um, if you are looking for some really good hoops, the other thing, which is what um, they were also talking about, with the Q-snap, you cannot, you you know, you're limited to the space inside the, on the cloth. And with these, you can stitch almost right up to the, because there's nothing up underneath there um, so it, it has been really good this is what I have been using to stitch um, the um, February square dance because I cut the fabric so small um, I needed a small hoop to put it in so that I could be able to hold it and not do the whole stitching in hand so they are awesome and I would I recommend them very very highly Um, I did place an order um, with Fat Quarter Shop, and I also got an order from Fat Quarter Shop. So I am in both um, their Fabric of the Month clubs. And I don't know if I already showed this one or not, but um, the Weeks Dye Works Club for January. So I probably did already show this. Um, I did. I remember now. But they are pretty. If you... And then, um, I believe it was actually the very next day after I had um, recorded, received the February 2021 Club, and um, it has shrimp cocktail, pink champagne, ripe melon, hairy berry, strawberry parfait, and house wine. And here's what. I think I got my thing too high. Oh, yeah. There it goes. And they are very, very nice colors also. And I um, am really building up... Uh, my floss stash and thank you to those of you who um gave suggestions on how you store your floss i actually oh, i should have brought it I, i'll remember to bring it next time um i actually put them in a container i have them on rings i'm wondering since i'm getting in the habit of changing floss colors on charts if it's better to put the floss in color so that I'll have more uh, more of a comparison instead of picking them but um, I, I already decided that I need something bigger that's for sure um, so the saga of the floss continues um, if you follow Fat Quarter Shop or Lori Holt, you know that she has come out with this whole series called the Prim Stitch Series. I am not doing that stitch along. However, when she puts out, um, a chart that I like within the series, then I purchase it. And this, um, is the 
faith and endurance. And it really spoke to me. Um, I am not, I would not consider myself a prim stitcher. Um, and this does not look uh, overly prim to me. And so I picked it up because faith and endurance really speaks to me. So that was um, a really good pickup for me. I think they just released this chart to their to the club members also. And then the very last, well, not the very last. I got one more piece of haul. So um, I had told you all that I ordered the quilt kit for uh, Stronger Together, and it came in. And so I will be starting this quilt kit this weekend. Um, and I'm going to hope that maybe I'll get it done by Feb. By, I don't know. I'm not even going to say that. Get it done by the end of February. That's not going to happen. But I'll be working on it um, steadily. I have another project, quilt project that I'm also working on. So um, if you're interested in seeing it, you know, you can leave a comment below um, as I progress through getting it all completed but it's beautiful fabrics um all the fabrics for the quilt are here and and i am ready to go with it so i have one more piece of haul and i um was just i was on the computer one night and i have my uh, notifications set on Instagram for a number of people that I follow. And so I was sitting here and up flashed this notification and I was like, oh my goodness. So I click on Instagram and comment and I was the first person to comment. That never, ever happens for me. Never, never, never. So I got a Christine Stitch All The Things project bag with my favorite color on the bottom. And this is called, she called it the Little Stinker Bag. And it is super cute. And it this is Tula Pink fabric. And awesome, awesome, awesome construction. She put in a um, skein of... 3041 purpley floss. And so this is what it looks like. Great shipping. That's the inside of it. It has two split pockets and it is wonderful. And so I was ecstatic that um, I was able to like jump in real quick and get that because like I said, that never ever happens. So, um, Thanks again, Christine. I love it. Um, so I think I have said or shown everything that I needed to show today. I do want to say that I um, am very much appreciative of um, all of your well wishes and prayers for this time. Um, One of the biggest issues I probably have is that I uh, don't show myself enough grace. I show a lot of people grace, um, even when they may not deserve it. So I would like to have you all remember to give your own self some grace. This, um, this is not easy. You know, we all have our different challenges. I couldn't imagine being at home with little kids, having to do schoolwork. Um, the other day I was like, oh, I need to get back to work. And, and this is not work. This is my home. And so I need to remember that although I work here, this is not, this is not the building. I, I don't even know how to explain that. I just need to remember to to give myself some grace with all of this because um, 
I know there are some people that are like, oh, this is no big deal. Um, that's not the case for everybody. And we, if you are struggling with um, all of the events as they are still going on and not knowing um, what the future holds, um, I was talking to one of my friends and I said, you know, one of the worst things about this is like, I have nothing to look forward to. I, um, I have made plans and I'm already feeling like they're going to fall through. Um, because that's the way of the world right now. Um, people don't want to businesses, companies, travel, all of that. You don't want to take those kinds of risk. Um, and so, you know, today is a good day and I am thankful for the good days and I am going to remember to show myself some grace on the days that are not so good and I hope that you will also. Thank you and have a good week. Bye.